Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Take a seat, kick back, get a cup of coffee. We're going to look at Glary Utilities. Not so easy to look at because it's a pretty thorough suite. We've had this listed on Major Geeks for as long as I can remember, and it's easy sometimes to overlook it. It is an all-in-one utility for cleaning and repairing your machine. It does have a few features in here that are limited. For example, automatic maintenance will ask you to purchase the program. However, it does do a ton for free. We'll take a look at a few things here. Oh, look at that boot time. That's right. Check for updates, upgrade. As you can see, you have your boot time. So if you come up as 99% slower, you might want to check your startup manager and see what's in there that could be slowing down your boot. There's a couple ways to go through this. There is your one-click maintenance. You can choose what you want here. Check a couple of options if needed. For example, if you didn't want to clean your registry, you could just uncheck it. Pretty simple stuff. So again, it's designed to be one-click. And as you can see, it's jamming along pretty fast considering how much stuff I'm scanning for right now. So let's see what she comes up with for problems real quick. Not a big deal because I don't want to spend too much time here because the program can be complicated and simple. You've heard that before. As you can see, there's a few problems with the registry. Typical, a shortcut problem. There's uh, temporary files, so you can take a look and see what it found here. Again, you can modify what it, you want it to look for. Typically, there's a reason they call this one click. It's pretty conservative, so you're not wasting your time. You just do a simple click. And hit repair problems. Once again, it's really, really fast. You can auto repair and shut down. As you can see, that jammed right along. And then from there, once that's finished with, again, you have these three tabs here. Here's your advanced tools. Some of these are built in and some of these tools are part of Windows. So you always want to back up here and there when you're messing around, just name a reg file for backup. Your system restore, as you can see, it started the Windows system restore point. Undoing any of your changes that Glary may have done. Again, a restore. So you get your backup restore, backup restore. You really want that type of thing in a program like this if you go beyond the basics. So there's a shortcut fixer. Here's your optimize and improve. This is a nice little area here for those of us who want to tweak our machines every month or two by checking your startup, defragmenting your drive, maybe even optimizing your memory. Um, driver manager. I wonder if that goes over to their program. I'm thinking it does. Nope. So it finds any problems for you. Doesn't do too much else beyond that, but it does back up. There is a software update, of course. Files and folders. So you've got your analyzer, your splitter. So you can look for large files that you can get rid of that are wasting space. And that pretty much covers most of this. Clean up and repair. So we're trying to get through it as quick as possible just because of how much is in here. So down across the bottom, as you can see, you have these and all of these. So these, you probably saw some of these already as we're going through. So it's just another way to get there as your startup manager, which you saw earlier. As you can see, there's shortcuts, registry repair, disk cleanup, which should bring us just to what you saw before. Once again, oh, it's another way to do it. Context menu manager, which is handy. That would be your context menu would be if your windows was open and you right click as you can see find empty folders with glary wipe with glary defrag so we could come into where we go there it goes we could take the glary utilities out just to show you because we we're using that and a lot of people can, can't find a way around this stuff too often so as you can see the glary stuff is now no longer in here so pretty handy just to keep things neat for you stop beeping at me and once again, we'll get back into here. Your process manager, handy. So this is nice for text too, because you could take this on a machine, just clean up and, and tweak it because there are some programs out there that probably do a little bit more on the one click maintenance than this does, but this suite of tools that are built in make it handy for a tech. You've got your uninstall manager, pretty handy. Now I did just put this on, I did just put this on. All these I just put on, so it's spotting what's new. Nice way to highlight it as well as by name, etc. So what else we got here? Browser assistant. There you go. You can check out your BHOs, browser helper objects, toolbars, etc. I don't see it spotting. Oh, there's Chrome. So it does have little tabs down here for whatever browser you have. And once again, you, you can always get to most of these any way you want, whatever makes it 
good for you. So feel free to browse this way with little icons and feel free to just do that or come to your advanced tools and work your way through all of it there. Whatever works better for you. Pretty well laid out considering how many things are in here. It's a lot to cover in one little window. So and it's one of those programs where, again, it's free, but for a couple little things like this, if you love the program and you use it all the time, it's helpful for you. It's really worth the money to basically buy the program and support these guys. That are, like I said, they're not new here. So 20 bucks is pretty reasonable. I think you'll agree if you like the program. And basically that's about it. We're pretty comfortably over my five minute rule. And that's, as I said, because it's just too much here to cover within a simple five minutes. But I hope that gets you through the basics of it and helps you use the program to clean up your machine. And thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.